six months ago I started an experiment that I called the deep work experiment it was after I read the book deep work and read an article by Ryan Carson and I've tried to optimize my calendar and my schedule to get more stuff done the important things done and it's been six months I think it will be a great idea to kind of take a look and see if that hold if you didn't see that video you can check out here uh, this is basically the structure that I was thinking about I wanted to uh, give three days to the new school which uh, ha you know turned out to be Prospero dedicate some time to learning every afternoon and then I had two days of retainer so basically I want to start with the top level like thinking about the last six months and the truth is that those last six months have been phenomenal I got lots of stuff done first of all they've been the most profitable that I think I ever had and we'll, we'll get to why that in a second but not only they've been super profitable on the freelance side also we've managed to in that six months launch Prospero and also grow it in the last few months so I think it I've been super productive and not only productive but effective I did stuff that matters so in that sense I think it was a great success how much of that is because of the schedule let's talk about this so let's start with what actually failed so the first thing that failed was that I realized the way that I planned it as I kind of planned for long stretches of uninterrupted time in the morning and then doing meetings uh, and emails and all of that stuff kind of a managerial stuff in the afternoon I had only two slots for meetings in the lunch and, and uh, later in the afternoon and I had slots for learning so what I realized pretty much in the upcoming weeks after I started the schedule is that I it's really hard for me to control my afternoons so in the morning where I'm super my best times is in the morning I'm most focused I'm most creative and that's where I really get into the deep work sessions I get uninterrupted work doing creative stuff in the morning that's best but afternoon it's really hard for me to control that because I get a lot of phone calls from clients I get a lot of stuff that just been pushed in a way into my schedule and that really fell apart and you know all, also trying to schedule with other people with only having like two slots with fixed times for that not everybody that I wanted to meet could have um, could work with these timetables and so that didn't really work and what ended up happening is that my afternoons they're still dedicated to the managerial stuff but they're not really fixed and structured they're more flexible um, what did actually work is that I got into the habit of not scheduling anything at all in my, in my morning so I think that during the last six months I didn't even had one morning meetings because all of my mornings are dedicated to you know creative productive uninterrupted times and when I just started I kind of had actually my email time and social network time was scheduled so I knew that I'm checking emails in six in the morning when I wake up and then at lunchtime in between I do not check emails I do not open Facebook and so forth and because that was I got into that habit now even though I don't have emails anymore structured in my calendar I I'm staying in this habit and I do not check my email I do not check social network during my you know deep work session in the morning and that really really increased my productivity I can't say that I'm successful 100% of the time sometimes as part of my deep work section I have to send some emails and I see a, an email that I really want to read or reply and so, so sometimes I sin but I think I would say like 95% of the time I'm successful in that and that really helped improve my, my creativity now the second thing that happened was that I realized how much I am productive more productive in the morning and when I have those uninterrupted times and I realized that having two full days dedicated to my retainer client is actually hurting my productivity that in you know in combined combination with the effect that actually having my retainer time I'm, I'm kind of charging per hour and that's fixed and when I'm doing project um, I can do them whenever I want and so I am more in control of my time and also I can value price them so I'm not remember I think around February I stopped doing the full-time retain, uh, retainers I've hired a designer to work full-time at the startup that I was doing the retainer and now I'm only managing her 
afternoons. And that means that I got two more uh, deep work sessions in my week. I started out uh, six months ago with only three days that I could do uh, deep work for myself and then two of them were owned by the client. And now I have five days a week that I can have deep session uh, you know, working on what's important to me. So true, sometimes some of those deep sessions are uh, working towards, you know, client projects, but still I manage to be so much more productive that I think the effects are, you know, huge for me. So, you know, final takeaway for me is that I cannot be one of those people who have everything blocked in their calendar to be super, super productive. Uh, I need to be more flexible than that. But the thing that needs to be fixed, calendar or not, is that my morning sessions are uninterrupted no matter what I'm working on. I feel that does make a big impact on my work. Regarding the learning, I was pretty optimistic thinking I can dedicate like one hour or two hours every afternoon studying. That did not end up happening. But that doesn't mean that I didn't do any learning during the last six months. I did do a lot of reading uh, to you know listening to audiobooks mainly when I uh, when I'm on the bicycle and I have about one hour and a half riding the bicycle almost every day and so doing that you know I can read a lot of books also reading books on the weekends and nighttime before I go to sleep so I did manage to do uh, learning uh, but not on the schedule that I thought I would be doing Anyway, that's more or less the recap. I'm actually very, very happy with the last six months. I'm trying to think if there is anything that I can do to improve the next six months, but uh, nothing that I can think about right now, but I should probably dedicate some time to think about what can I hack and improve. Anyway, hope you find this productive and you kind of try to make those experiment with your you know, time management because for me, honestly, I did see huge effects. Anyway, today is kind of a not very productive day just because I had to help my wife with a newborn son in the morning and then it's kind of short because I have to pick my other son from the kindergarten so today is not like an ultra productive day but I think that once you kind of have a system that helps you be productive and stay productive 95% of the time some days are not productive and you don't have to beat yourself over it you know you'll be productive tomorrow so hope you guys have a great day and I'll catch you tomorrow